Hey guys, what's up? Michael here. So today I'm going to do a review of one of my most favorite applications for Android, and that's going to be Waze. Now, Waze is a pretty powerful and popular navigation um, application, and um, I'm going to kind of go over the features and show you guys um, what I really like about this, uh, you know, piece of software here. So, kind of just looking at it, this when you're when you open the application, this is kind of how you're greeted. It comes to your map. Um, it'll show you, you know, all the um, warnings around you. If it either be road hazards, uh, let me uh, show you guys here, or you get like police officer warnings. You can see right there the little police officer guy, um, and then. So you got police officers, these little things here, they're more kind of like, um, you can see vehicle stopped on um, the side of the road. And when you do click on these, you can either give it a thumbs up or you can leave a comment, you know, like the, you know, thanks for that, thanks for the heads up, or, you know, it's not there anymore. So you can kind of do things like that. Um, it's always good to thumbs up, especially if, you know, say there is really, uh, the police officer still there and he saved you. It's always nice to give these people a thumbs up because it shows them you helped, you know, you helped uh, them out, or or you helped them out, or you know, vice versa. So, with these, you know, with that being said, you just have all these different warnings. You know, like this police officer here has four thumbs up, so you can see it says police visible, visible. Um, it's on the Florida Turnpike, you know, because I'm in South Florida. So um, it's pretty cool. It just you know it's it, it really gives it more of a, a social um, feeling you know to navigation, which if you go on Waze's uh, application page, let me show you guys here is awesome. 4.6. It's definitely a, a really good thing. So let's go back into the application here. Let me turn on. Let me turn on airplane mode on my phone here, just so we don't get any interruptions okay so I already kind of showed you guys the um, you know how you can see all the the warnings and things like that here so I'm going to show you guys the settings menu so if we go into settings which you're just going to click the little uh, icon here on the bottom and then press the settings so you got a lot of different settings here that I'm going to go over here so you got display which you can toggle between 2d and 3d I always just leave it on 3D because 3D looks um, a lot better. Uh, mode, it's going to toggle your screen between nighttime and daytime. Again, I always leave that on auto. So in the day, it's going to kind of be like a white background. At night, it's going to be a black background. Um, pretty self explanatory. So, general, you got language. So if you're in a different country or you just want to put a different language on there, you can do that. Um, you can do event radius, um, so basically it'll show you like the nearest um, gas station near you or Best Buy or whatever you want to set that. Um, and you can prevent auto lock, so basically your screen won't turn off when the application is running. Social networks, you can tie in your Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, and all of that with this. Um, I do have my Facebook tied in with it normally. So, like, if I'm going on a drive and I want to share my drive with, like, a friend, I can actually send it to him via Facebook, or he can look at my drive via Facebook, um, or, I'm sorry, via Waze. You can send other, or other people can send you map chats, so it doesn't even have to be someone that you know. They can just say, hey, what's up? If you guys, you know, if they, if you see someone else on the road and you're like, hey, lovely morning, or hey, good morning, you know, you can send people messages in hopefully a non-creepy way. <laughs> um, others can send you private messages. I always leave that on. No one really talks to me too much. Um, I, I've started a map chat before. Uh, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you guys that later. Display settings, you can show, you know, when you hit my car, you just get all these little different kind of like avatars to select from. Um, a lot of Porsches are on here, uh, Fiat, and then the other ones are just like blue car, red car, Boodle, or Beetle, and so on. So you got speedometer, you can set that on and off. That will actually show a speedometer on the layover on your map. And then you can also change the color scheme of the map itself. 
So I have the map editor because I've changed some things and I kind of help out um, by updating the map in some cases. So um, I have that one and then you have all these different color schemes as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and then as far as sound, you can change the, the voice guidance sound and you can change the actual uh, voice on it. I'll show you guys. So you can do like an English, um, Elvis, Nathan, Randy, <laughs> and I'm and if I'm not mistaken, I actually think you can download like second party uh, or third party um, voices for this, but I'm not too I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to look into that. So let me go back into settings here. So navigation, um, you can I don't really like toll roads. I just don't. So I always set it to avoid toll roads, toll roads if possible. Um, I leave avoid freeways. I leave that you know off because I'll go on a freeway as long as it's not a toll road. Um, dirt roads I hit don't allow. I'm not a big fan of dirt roads. Um, and type I always leave as fastest. You know fastest way to get home or fastest way to get to point A to point B or from A point A to point B. Gas station or prices, um, basically it'll show you on your map all your prices and everything, um, notifications, I'm not going to go through everything because we'd be here all day, but spread the word, is you can just share ways on Facebook and all that good stuff. So let's get on to other things here. So I just went over settings for you guys um, and then I'll show you guys the my ways here. So my ways is basically uh, the customizable section. So you can change like your mood and ways. You know you can change it to um, sunflower, zombie, all these different ones. It's pretty cool actually. Kind of gives it a nice little uh, fun feature to it. Scoreboard. Let me turn airplane mode off. So scoreboard, basically what that does is um, this will show, right now you can see my ranking, 83,611. So they actually changed this recently as well. I don't remember it looking like this. It's a little different before. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is my scoreboard. Um, it shows you kind of what level you are. I'm kind of like right in the middle now. So... Um, that's different, now it's showing different points. Oh, my rank is 83,000, okay. And then I have 13,000 points, as you can see right there. And, um, so you get about five different levels. First starting off, kind of like a baby wazer, and then you move up, and you're in the middle, and then you can go up to a, next level is warrior wazer. And then the next one is, um, I can't remember the name, let's say. I think it's, um, show you guys. So next one is Ways Royalty. You can kind of see all the different steps right there. I'll let you guys pause that if you want to read it. So i um, just kind of got all these different levels here and it explains them. So um, the other cool thing here is teams. So you can kind of create teams without, um, for like your, or you can join team. Um, the only one I show here is NBC2 Florida, which I'm not going to join. That's like a new station in my area. Um, and then you got my friends as well. So um, I got a couple people on here that I add or added me. And basically if they're out, like if someone is out and driving, you know, they don't even have to be near you. But if someone's like out and driving, you'll get a little notification that, you know, blank, blank, your friend has just signed in. Um, and you can actually see where he's driving, or he can share his drive with you, or vice versa. So you kind of got that little cool, um, again, social media twist to it. So that's for the um, My Ways, and then for Send, you can actually send your, um, you can send like your destination before to like a friend or family member. Like if you're, say you're going to a Christmas dinner, and you want to say... My drive ETA for my current location. You can send this to that person, and then they can actually see where you are in real time. Like it'll say, "Oh, you know, he's gonna 
his ETA is just two minutes. His ETA is one minute. He has arrived, you know, that, that type of thing. It's actually really cool how you can do that. So next, I'm going to show you guys the report feature. So this is kind of the main, you know, the main thing of Waze is reporting. So reporting is it all really starts with um, the main thing is of course you're gonna re you're gonna want to report police officers, you know our police officers in my area, you know where are they located, things like that. So for instance, I was driving home last night on a pretty busy road. Um, it's called US One where I live, and there was a cop. For some reason I don't know how it's legal, but they sit right in the median in the middle of the road. There's like a concrete median. They actually drive up on the median and they sit there and they're monitoring traffic. So I have a radar detector. So I detected him a little before, a lot, about a mile before. And so I kind of knew he was there. So I slowed down, you know, got down to the speed limit and um, I reported him on the app. So all you have to do is you hit police, tap on police. Um, and I'm going to close this app because I do not want to send a false report in. But basically, um, you can, you know, report him. So once you report him, all these other Wazers that are on the map, you see these little guys here? So all these other Wazers that are here, if they're driving on that same road, they'll actually see that notification that you posted. So when they see that notification you posted, they at that point, they can start to slow down, you know, to, you know if, if they're going a little over the speed limit, or, you know, you know, just, you know, drive more cautiously since there's police around. Now, I'm, I don't speed, really. I go maybe five, ten miles over the speed limit, you know, in certain areas. Because um, generally that's a pretty safe, you know, range to go where I live. So, um, that's, that's generally what I drive. Now, the thing is, you can get a ticket for five or ten over if a cop really wants to give you a ticket. So, that's why this is really nice. Because um, you can kind of be warned, you know, before you get to that point. Before you get a ticket. So, as far as you can see these little guys here. So, you can see that guy right there. That's another Wazer. And you, you see how they update. Um, let's see if I can find another one here. Another Wazer right here. There's a couple of them right here, as you see. Uh, that's 95, so... So you're always going to have a lot of people using Waze on the highway. Um, so those are other people. And if, if the cool thing is, if I were to click on just one of these people, like that little sunflower guy there, I can actually message this person directly. Um, I can also send a map chat to this person as well. So I can kind of start like an open map chat. Or I can direct message them. Now, that's a cool thing. You know, it is. I don't use it, to be honest with you guys. I just really haven't found a need to direct message someone. Unless I know them, I would probably do that. Um, or if you wanted to thank someone for leaving a, um, you know, report, it's also a good way to do it, too. To send it, you know, directly to that person if you wanted. Um, so, as far as police, you can report traffic jams. The cool thing as well is um, you can set, like if you are, t like say you're driving home and you're in rush hour and you're just crawling and crawling and crawling along, um, this will actually automatically, it'll pull up a pop-up on your screen that says, are you, we detect you're in traffic. Is this correct? Yes or no? If you yes, it's automatically going to send a report out on the road and it will say, you know, it'll show up like a road, it'll kind of turn orange and say traffic is backed up or traffic is, um, you know, going slowly, so it'll, you know, you can actually, it'll reroute other people, so you can, you know, kind of clear that traffic jam up, which is pretty cool, because a lot of people use this, um, and actually Google, a little backstory, Google actually bought Waze, um, I think it was about five, six months ago, and if you actually go on Google Maps now, it'll say, traffic incident reported via Waze, so... It's a pretty cool thing there because um, they got so big and, you know, it's just everybody uses it. It's, it's one of the best uh, navigation systems, in my opinion. Now, as far as other features, um, like I mentioned before, I mean, you can, 
you know, do all this stuff here. You're going to report traffic jams, um, accidents, hazard on the road. So, um, hazard on the road, um, you know, gas prices. Turn airplane mode. Sorry about that. So gas prices, um, you report gas prices. So if you go to a gas station and the price is different from what it's showing on the map, you can change it. You can start a map chat, which we talked about. You can report a map issue. So if there's like a road there that's not showing on the map, you can report that. Or if there's like a roundabout that's in you know on the road but it's not in the map, you can report that. And um, you know road closures you know ca speed cameras um, so speed cameras are pretty cool you can report like a, a speed red light or a fake um, camera which is pretty neat because those uh, things are pretty pesty so that's pretty much it guys um, you know just overall this is a really awesome application uh, it gives you a lot of features as far as um, you know just open you know open community and there's nothing you have to pay for so if you're like looking to get like a Garmin or just like, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollar, um, you know, navigation system and you have an Android or you have an iPhone, don't do it. Just download this application. Um, so much better. You know, you get so much more content than you would with like just a, a basic navigation system. There's really, in my opinion, no need to buy a navigation system anymore when you have applications like this um you know and and i will say you know google maps is really good as well know what happened there so google maps is really good as is good as well um now the thing is with ways it gives you a lot more you know like those reporting features and like you know if you know where you're going you can still use this you don't have to set the navigation you can just have it open and uh look at the map so that's the cool thing. Um, I really would recommend this application if you haven't checked it out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns or if you like my content, I would really appreciate it if you uh, if you would subscribe. I'm going to try doing more app reviews. And um, if you guys have any suggestions of what I should do, um, I would recommend that as well. Um, soon I'll be having some new reviews here. I will be getting a LG G Watch R for Christmas. So I'll be doing a review on that in the future. Uh, maybe even an unboxing video if someone's interested in that. But other than that, thanks for watching.